Okay, so there are <coughs> several different ways of getting roots into Komoot. Um, apart from actually drawing them in the in the root planner, so you can access these from several places. If you hit on the plus by tours, you'll get a sub menu come up. Import a file, GPX fit or TCX. Import via Garmin Connect. Import from a Wahoo device. Um, Basically, the bottom two are through um, well, Wahoo's by recording on your Wahoo and linking the accounts. And Garmin Connect, um, I assume it's similar. I don't have a Garmin, so I couldn't tell you, but. Um, so they're available there. They're also available if you hit tours, say planned. They're also available from menu up there. Um, and that so import from a GPX simple. Click on that. Find your GPX file that you've got stored on your phone, click on it and it asks you what it should be imported as, a plan tool or as a complete tool. We're going to go for import and plan. So import and plan, it asks for the sports type, this is bike touring. Um, this isn't a course I've done, I'll explain later um, where this come from. So will it continue? It looks at the tour and you get two options. Um, because part of this tour deviate from known ways. So it asks you how you'd like to proceed. Stick to the original or match route to known ways. So we will actually um, stick to the original as I say it's not a route I've done so hit continue and there it all is all with the waypoints and that it's obviously a circular route um, oh, well, starting and finishing at the and same points, so if we're happy with it, hit save and give it a name. I'll just call it, put the word demo after it. And hit save. Now if we were to go back to the plan tours, there it is, it's at the top. Dead easy. So that's how to import a GPX file. Okay, another way we can import Port into Komoot um, and create a route is by using a route that's already been completed. So you've been out on your bike and you done a ride which you haven't got a route for, you've just been down all the lanes and whatever, got back and You've synced your route, it's uploaded to Komoot because you've got your, in my case, bolt is um, connected to Komoot. So all my rides automatically get 
loaded into the completed section so we'll go to completed and you'll see there they are um, so we'll pick on the top one cycling and you can see the route there So ride I did with a friend the other night, um, the other day, and we did during the day talk, blooming hot, and that, so, if I want to save that as a road, it's already it's set up as a road ride we'll change that in a minute so because it actually isn't it's only because I haven't changed I haven't edited the ride since we did it so we'll go to the top there and I've got several different options I can edit the tour Plant a similar tour, export the GPX file or delete it. We definitely don't want to do the bottom one. Um, we are going to plant a similar tour. So click on that. And like with the GPX that we just did, um, resolving routing issues, we'll stick to the original route. Nothing wrong with it. And that so it's all there now if I hit adjust route I can change the route type the fitness level and the direction we'll leave it as one way because it is a naturally circular route but we'll change it from road cycling to gravel ride and Hit save, let me give it a sensible name. Um, Thames Path Circular will do. And hit save. And it's saved to the profile under Plan Tours now. So if we go back to the profile and look under plan tools, it's sat at the top. Now, the GPX file that I did the GPX import with was actually a GCN ride. Um, and it was a GPX file that I pinched. But you've got several options. If I go to following, and if I pick on, you'll see GCNs at the top, but if I pick on Tim at the bottom, that takes me into his profile. Now, if I hit on his plan routes, there's one at the top, Ilf Kuhn to Martin Ho return. So I can click on that, and there it all is. Um, you see, it says plan by Tim Charles. If I go to the menu at the top, I've got two choices. Export the GPX file, which is what I did with the GCN ride that we used previously, or plan similar tool. And I can then just 
having pinched him at all, I can just hit the save button and it'll give it the same title that Tim's put on there so we'll keep that and just hit save and it saved it, your profile under tools so if I go to my profile there plan tours if we're going to Martin Ho return and it's as simple as that okay so we can actually um, do GPX import and um, that from the PC as well. So uh, to import a GPX file we'll just click on the plus up here import a GPS file and ask us where we want to load it from so I'll just find my GPS files uh, I'll pick one from out of here while we fit this uh, home and bolt that one will do and you see offers us the same alternatives as before import the planner route or import with activity we want to import the planner route I click on next ask us the type defaults to bike touring this is actually a road stroke gravel ride so we'll just set it to gravel and it'll process it click on next and yeah we get the stick to original route or match to because it doesn't know all of what I've got on there no, it claims they're off grid click on save tour I'll call it uh, oh, cotton marsh GPS demo click on got it and include cycling segments in which cycling is forbidden yet it's coming over the railway bridge at um a born end and that so click on the got it button See, it says I planned a gravel ride, and if we go into my profile, my plan tours, there it is at the top. Right, so likewise, the other way we showed you on the phone, if I go to following. We'll pick on Tim again. There's the one that we did using the phone. Uh, these are all from his recent activity. We'll go, we'll actually go to his tours. Um, and his plan tools. And we'll pick on oh Windsor Gerard. You 
so I can export that to a GPS device or whereas on the phone it says plan a similar tool here it's create a copy of this tool edit tool name Windsor Gerard put the name after it got it temporary access restrictions you see Camus telling me these things uh, that's going up through the park um, the deer park's out of bounds to our cyclists at the moment so I know what that is click on got it now if I go to my plan tools there it is at the top all ready to uh, when I sync and of course that's the thing when I sync the um, turn the bolt on and sync it or open the app on the phone and sync the app all these routes will upload to the app and will be available for me to ride and transfer over onto the bolt itself so um, yeah that's some more ways on both the phone and the PC getting roots into the moon See, we've got an import import GPS file button at the top of plan tools, which brings us to that. So, yeah, that's it. Any questions? Please shove them in the comments below. Um, anything else you think I might be able to help with? with come out. Um, I'll have a look and try and explain to you um, to the best of my ability. I said before I do like this software so yeah that's it comments like and subscribe please long time since I've asked out of anybody so uh, yeah that's it for now folks ciao